Hi, I'm here at the India International Security Expo at Pragati Maidan. I'm standing at a very cool stall of Tonbo Imaging. Now, Tonbo Imaging is an Indian company based in Bangalore and they're doing some pretty cool stuff when it comes to thermal sites. Uh, what you're seeing right now, you're seeing me as a thermal image, uh, which is uh, what you would normally see through a scope. And there is another image that I want you to see, which is a fusion, a fusion of both thermal and a day camera. Now, that's what it looks like. This is a fusion image, which is a day camera fused in with a thermal image. How this works is that if you're in a daylight situation, you have an intruder who's sitting behind a bush, for instance, uh, this site can pick up his heat signature and transmit it back to the unit. This defense startup made global waves last year with a $100 million order to export night vision weapon sites for the Peruvian army. The Staghound TI has been sold to the National Security Guard and is also on offer to the BSF, CRPF and the Indian Army. So that earlier the Jawans used to carry a GPS separate, a day camera separate, a thermal separate, a night vision separate and uh, you know, alkalinometer separate and then the SD card and the video transmission. Now everything is in big. We are very proud that we are supplying this one to NSG, which is the special forces in our country, which is leading all the anti-terrorist operations. And what are the export orders that we have? Oh, we have orders which we cannot disclose because of the agreements. Yes, but it is, it's been exported outside also. Right. And what is the power consumption? This works on ACDC both. We have that. And with the battery, it can go eight hours straight. This has also been designed for a handled operations, for special operations and like BSF, CRPF, which are operating in all. This is only in four cages. We are able to give them every possible intelligence which is required from a sensor. The company recently offered its Arjun weapon sites for the Indian Army's requirement for a new 7.62 into 51 assault rifle. The Arjun was sold to the Peruvian Army this under a hundred million dollar contract. Military grade. Name is Arjun. This has 10 hours of uh, battery, has a resolution of 64480, and it can go on all weapons from MP5, assault rifles, AK-47s, SIGs, Tevors. And with the combination of a day magnifier, the whole range is like 150 to 200 km, uh, meters. You can actually engage the target in daytime and nighttime both. And the beauty of this weapon system is also that it has been now the special mounts which give you a guarantee of 2,000 rounds and the zeroing is not going to change. Plus, they have a capability to actually mount on all kind of weapon systems even with, without the weapons which are designed not with the uh, Picatinny rails like MP5, SLRs, INSAs and uh, proprietary Picatinny rails of the Tevors also. So this has been designed with rails which can also fit on any of the weapon systems. So we feel in Make in India, we have actually done a revolution and in near days, we feel that the government has already made the specifications in MHA and we will see the tenders coming in and the operational units in the field will actually have world's smallest site, which also has a special mount, which can go on the helmet also, which can be used for doing patrolling in jungles, because in the jungles, night vision doesn't work because the ambient light is already less and uh, the blind spots out there in the night vision is going to be disastrous because behind the bushes, thermal is the only technology which can pick up people like 20, 30 people waiting to kill our Jawan. So this technology is a dual use on the weapon and also on the helmet. How heavy is this uh, site? This site has been designed and after feedbacks from CRPF, BSF and special units like NSG which have done uh, jungle operations. And the weight has been kept to 400 or 450 depending on the combination of different lenses which we have. Combination of this two is very very important. Why all our weapon systems don't have day magnifier as the US Special Forces have actually proven. When you have a day magnifier and not a reflex at a holographic site because day magnifier allows the target to come close on the reticle you are able to shoot and with every bullet hitting the target and in the night the same thermal target is also used with this thermal site 
and in combination you are able to have a target at 200 meters shot like a surgical strike so we feel that a combination of a day magnifier and a thermal and you see the size of it it can be fitted on a mp5 tevors insas ak's and even a sniper the rail which you see out here has been designed for a sniper so that you can actually add all kind of magnifiers on this and the target can be engaged so one system can go on different top you know weapon systems so is it you only ip for this Yes, this particular design is an IP to Tonbo Imaging and we are very proud the designers are Indians and the manufacturing is done in our facility in Bangalore.